Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. This is a newer series out from Broadman Holman Academic, and it's an exegetical guide to the Greek New Testament. Now, I will tell you, first of all, it's extremely well done by Kostenberger and Yarborough. And then I've got it pulled up here. This one, this particular volume is from 216 on uh, christianbook.com. And it says 217, 217, 217, 216, 220, like Mark came out in 220, Acts came out in 220. So I just thought I would show you this. Several of the volumes it looks like are $9.99, $8.99, but then some get up $26.99. And they, as they do, they have it on their ebook series as well from Christianbook.com. So, you know, it comes recommended by Paul Barnett, Daryl Bach, D.A. Carson, Crow. Um, And so they're trying to do the whole thing. I'll just let you take a look. It's like 400 pages. So I'm thinking like for $8.99, 400 pages is pretty good. A lot of times things like this, you know, they come out with them in hardback and they're for textbooks and they'll run $50 and $60. Many times like $130. Um, a lot of your most valuable, as far as information goes, textbooks run over $100. And I'm not totally sure all the reasons why. Maybe so few of them are printed. Maybe they're for textbooks. But this one seems to be more reasonably priced. And so this says $29.99. Now, the first thing I noticed about it is you basically have to know Greek for this to uh, be of any use to you. Like the Aortis Mental uh, and uh, Anacosuntai of dp and then to arrange an order to compile so it's been many years since i studied greek i used to be the guy who took the greek new testament to church you know sit on the platform at calvary tabernacle doing that and i finally got to the point i'm like man i've only got one life to live for jesus i want to be a soul winner i want to be a prayer warrior i want to defend the truth and so, I, you know, I ran across these guys called the King James Translators that God providentially and supernaturally used to be the greatest Hebrew and Greek and textual critics that have ever existed in one consortium. So I said, well, you know what, I'm just going to go with them. <laughs> but I did want you to be aware of this. And, you know, it's going to use pretty much the eclectic text, what many have designated the Alexandrian text. Now, in most cutting edge textual criticism, there's no longer even any, you know, Western Caesarean and all that. That doesn't even exist in text types, especially since the few manuscripts they found of what's traditionally the Alexandrian text don't agree amongst themselves almost at all. You know, every so often you'll find some agreement. So they realize it's not really a text type per se. So this one is on Luke. It's going to have an exegetical outline in the back. It's going to have a index in the back and then a scriptural index in the back. And all told, it is 413 pages. I just want to make you aware of its existence. And if you're studying Greek, this may be something that would be very valuable to you. Even if you're a King James, we really need people who love traditional text, King James Bible, um, all of this to really get into Hebrew and Greek and to defend the word. It's just not my calling. I, at one time, you know, when you're young, you think you can do everything. And uh, that part of it, at least when I'm 55 here, that is not my calling. I can point people to it. And again, that's why I learned Hebrew and Greek and studied cognate languages was to do that. But I had too many other things that I felt like God was calling me to. So I just trust the word of God. I proved it enough to know that's 100 percent true. And I encourage you to do it as well. And uh, but we do need a lot of great Hebrew and Greek scholars that will learn like guys like Lawrence Vance, uh, Pete Ruckman, different ones 
that are amazing Hebrew and Greek scholars, Trinitarian Bible Society, that defend traditional Bible texts because that's just the Word of God. We're in the end time. Don't change your sword in the midst of the battle. So the exegetical guide to the Greek New Testament, just trying to give you a feel for it. Let's see if I can, uh, I'll just really quick show you what a little bit of it looks like on Christian book. I'm on the ebook section. Let's see if I can get some mixture here, ebooks and other books. There we go. And, uh, but really well done. Excellently well done. B&H Academic Because Truth Matters. One of the fascinating things about uh, a lot of Broadman Holman materials is that, you know, I'm a Acts 238 New Testament Christian, you know, Pentecostal, and they have been coming to a lot of conclusions we've been saying are biblical for years. They're actually coming to those conclusions. And I'm like, yes, praise God. So people that love truth, you know, we need to be truth lovers. And uh, Satan is the father of lies. We need to love truth. And he'll lead and guide you in all truth. We'll talk with you later. God bless you in Jesus' name.